hey guys welcome back to our channel so in this video we are going to tweak some settings in order to boost the performance of your pc or laptop after fresh upgrade to windows 11 make sure to subscribe our previous windows 10 was a clean and fresh with all the latest drivers and windows 10 updates on it so if you have the original windows 10 license copy and you want to update your pc or laptop to windows 11 for free make sure you don't install any other programs that you usually use on your pc so to make sure the updates goes fast without any problems once you are in Windows 11, we will start by disabling chat and widgets. We will remove chat by Microsoft Teams by right clicking on the taskbar and selecting taskbar settings. Once you are in the settings, disable chats and widgets and you're done. Next, we are going to enable the following shortcuts on our desktop. To do that, go to Settings, Personalization, then Themes, and then click on Desktop icons. From here, choose this PC and Recycle Bin, then click on OK. Next, we are going to plan our device usage. To do this, head over to Settings, Personalization, and then click on Device Usage. From here, you can choose whatever your purpose for using your PC or laptop is. For example, here I choose gaming, creativity, and business. Windows will automatically personalize apps related to your selection that you have just made. Next, we are going to adjust some settings related to gaming. For this, go to settings and then click gaming, then capture. Here you can adjust the quality of your game recordings. In this example, we select high quality and 60 FPS. We will go back and then select game mode. You should turn this on to make your gaming experience more enjoyable. After this, we select graphics and then turn all the apps to power saving mode. Except the games and 3D applications where we want high performance. So here in this example, we turn on the high performance mode with don't optimize for Windows games check for Forza Horizon 5 game. For those of you who have upgraded from Windows 10, you need to clean your old Windows 10 files, which takes up a lot of space on your storage disk. The good thing is now you can clean up those files automatically. So head over to settings, then select system, select storage and then click on cleanup recommendations. You just need to wait a little bit so that the cleanup button shows up and the cleaning might take some time. There might be some apps that you don't use on your PC. For example, when I clicked on all apps, I found 3D Viewer. It is not useful for me as I don't use it, so I uninstall it. Similarly, there is a clock app. I don't need it because I can see the time on taskbar. We will do the same with the Feedback Hub Maps, Mixed Reality Portal and OneDrive as we don't need it for the moment. After that, we will disable these apps running in the background. Here we right click on the calculator app and then select never so that these apps don't stay resident in the memory. We will do the same settings for camera app, films and TV, Microsoft Store, Outlook, Phone Link and Photos app. From time to time, you must be cleaning these hidden temporary files. To do that, you have to locate the temp folder. Run the file explorer app and then go to your C drive. Open the users folder and open your username folder. From here, go to view menu and then select hidden items. From there, go inside app data folder. Then go inside the local folder. 
scroll down and you will see the temp folder once you are inside the temp folder press ctrl a key simultaneously to select all then hold the shift key and right click for the sub menu and select delete this will clean up the hidden temp files Microsoft has introduced a feature for controlling the RGB lightning of your PC accessories, a new Windows 11 2.3 H3 update. Since I don't have the RGB accessory, I would turn it off from dynamic lightning settings located in the personalization settings. So you can boost the performance of your PC by increasing CPU power to perform heavy tasks such as gaming, 3D designing and so on. To do that, head over to system and then select power. From here, you have the option to choose power according to your usage. You can choose best performance, balanced or best power efficiency. Next, we are going to boost our computer's boot speed. To do that, head to All Apps in the Start menu, then select Windows Tools, open System Configuration, and click on Selective Startup. Then click on Services tab and check Hide All Microsoft Services. Then click on Deselect All. And that's it. You will need to restart your PC for the changes to take effect. Next, we are going to disable Microsoft Edge Web Browser from running in the background. To do that, open Edge Web Browser, click on 3-dot menu, then select Settings, select System and Performance, then turn off Startup Boost. Also turn off Continue Running Background Extension and Apps, and then scroll down a bit, and then turn off Performance Detector, and you did it. In the final step, we will stop and disable Hidden Background Tasks. To do that, Right click on start menu, then select computer management. From there, expand the task scheduler list, then click on task scheduler library. From here, select all the tasks, and right click and disable from menu. If you want, you can always re-enable them. On my integrated GPU, you can differentiate between both the operating systems after tweaking a bit with Windows 11. We'll come up with more, so until then, see you next time.